Google Analytics now has plot rows. It's a very welcome update, although I have to admit that this should have been in GA4 since day one. But nevertheless, let's take a look. Previously in Google Analytics detail reports, where you had a table and maybe some chart, the chart looked like this. It always showed you the top five rows and their data. But there are several problems here. What if I wanted to see the organic video? Of course, I could enter the organic video right here and then see that information in the chart. But there are some situations where this particular chart was not very flexible. But after a while, Google has changed this. And now the chart in the detail report will look something like this. The first noticeable change is that one row is dotted. It shows the total data. This is helpful because you can notice certain spikes in your overall traffic. And another useful update is that now you can decide which rows of the table will be displayed in the chart. By default, this chart shows the total row and then the top five rows. In my example, I have direct organic email referral and unassigned. But if I want to see just a particular traffic source in this chart, I could unselect everything, then select that particular row, for example, cross network, and then I click plot rows. Then the chart will change and will be showing data only of that particular row. And I can select several rows of my choice, for example, these two as well. Then I click plot rows, and all those three rows will appear right here. You can select up to five rows at the same time because if you try to select the sixth one, the checkboxes will be disabled and the sixth row can be the total one or I can decide not to show it and then show just these five. Then once I click plot rows, I will see the individual lines in this chart. If you want to see just the total numbers, then you can unselect everything, click on total and then plot rows. All of this is quite useful to first of all, see the overall trends in your traffic, but also identify spikes quicker. For example, here we have a spike in traffic, which looks a bit unusual. And right now I have selected just the total number. Now, if I select the other top five rows and then click plot rows, I can see what caused that spike. And in this case, it was email traffic. Also, another improvement in this chart is that anomaly detection has become available here as well. If you have some anomaly in traffic that was caused by a particular traffic source, as an example, then you will see this square where you can hover your mouse and then see some additional information. For this particular day, Google Analytics was expecting somewhere around 300 sessions from email traffic, but it got almost 3000. Maybe you were expecting this because maybe that's the day when you launched an email marketing campaign. But on the other hand, maybe something is incorrect in your tracking and you should spend more time investigating this. This kind of update is available not only in the traffic acquisition report. As I've said, this is available to all detail reports where you have the table and then this chart. For example, if I go to engagement and pages and screens, I can see the total number of views by page, but I also see some anomalies right here. And here is the spike where the top visited page on that day was shop slash clearance, which implies that maybe this shop launched an email marketing campaign for some clearance sale. And a lot of people visited this page. So all in all, this looks like a very welcome update to the interface of Google Analytics 4, and it makes it slightly more usable. And that's how plot rows work in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.